Uh, the Substance. This one was good, but very strange. I would recommend it to anyone who likes the festival film circuit. If you like to watch whatever one accolades at Sundance or Cannes or the Toronto Film Festival or South by Southwest, this is probably a film I'd check out. However, if you're the kind of person who just goes to the movie theater and picks out whatever, this is probably too weird for you. <laughs> very impressive performance from Demi Moore, an actress who I think most people, myself included, had written off uh, basically since her heyday in the late 80s and early 90s. Films like Ghosts with her and Patrick Swayze. A Few Good Men. You can't handle the truth. You know, that one with Tom Cruise and Jack Nicholson. G.I. Jane, the film in which she famously shaved her head and tried out for Navy SEAL school. And perhaps the most infamous of her mid-late 90s career, Striptease. Admittedly a guilty pleasure of mine. But The Substance was a very impressive performance from Ms. Moore. She really committed to the character and it goes to some dark places that she seemed ready to go to. And I have to commend her for that. It also stars Margaret Qualley, who I didn't realize was actually the daughter of Andy McDowell. And another surprise was a performance by Mr. Dennis Quaid. Yes, uh, Reagan himself. Which is crazy he did this movie right around the same time as that. Um, talk about your spectrum of quality here. But yeah, this was kind of just out of left field for me. I knew very little about going into it. And by the end, I was laughing. Uh, not because it was bad, but because I could tell what the director was going for and was 100% on board. That being said, my poor wife was not that into it, I think. Uh, although a couple nights later, one of my good friends watched it. And I think he had the same response I did. There was a whole thread of animated GIFs between us. It was really fun just scrolling through and, and looking at those as he was watching it. And without getting into spoilers, though, uh, this one was a good one. I would say check it out. All right. Now that's that's through with, let's get into spoilers. Okay. Uh... This movie, oh my god, uh, okay, obviously the symbolism is that Hollywood and movies and culture really just demand unrealistic expectations for women. Even if you're a beautiful woman, there are these sort of, you know, expectations that are set both by external elements as well as like self-placed ones. She liked how she felt whenever she was on top of the world and was this beautiful woman and everybody loved her. Really, it kind of parallels Demi Moore's career where, you know, she was seen as this sex symbol, you know, someone at the very top of like everyone's sexiest whatever actresses list, someone like a Scarlett Johansson or a Sydney Sweeney, and also was in some big movies, you know, and she was very talented in those films as well. She doesn't really get enough credit for her roles like G.I. Jane and Few Good Men, the contributions she made to those films. Actresses who've gone through similar struggles to her, women like Lindsay Lohan or Megan Fox, where the world paid attention to them and gave them tons of love and admiration but just kind of tossed them aside shortly after it decided that they weren't in anymore and to play a character where that is nakedly i mean literally nakedly shown takes a lot of courage and so you know any criticisms anybody's ever had for demi Moore for playing you know sort of shallow roles in things like the charlie's angels movies that were from years back not the one with the twilight what's her name in it but the one with like was it drew barrymore and cameron diaz and i think christina Applegate? no who was it i'm thinking the sweetest thing jesus it's been so long Point is, she's not been a great movie since then. Who cares? So for someone to say, hey, uh, we want to approach you for this role and you're going to be pay playing a beautiful woman who was known for her beauty and has now kind of been tossed aside, you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? For her to go, yeah, uh, let's let's do it. Again, can't understate the courage that's involved in that. And so, yeah. At the same time, this movie sort of gleefully, I mean, takes a huge sh all over <laughs> Hollywood for doing that to girls. I mean, by the end of the movie, it's gone, you know, Cronenbergian, Sam Raimian, whatever you want to call it, Evil Dead. I mean, she is spewing blood on like a hundred. I imagine being an extra in that. Be like, all right, guys, we're going to turn on the hose again. Get ready. Three, two, one. Psh, you know, like you get blasted with a, you know. I mean, I was just laughing at that part. I thought it was great. I mean, at one point, I don't know if I this is probably a blacklist for saying this, but I'm going to say it. When she turns into the monster form, her head shit out like a t with an umbilical cord on it. It's, it's great. Anyway, all that said. This is one to check out. Like I said, I'd recommend it. Probably would give it a four to four and a half stars, I guess, depending on what kind of mood you're in. If you're feeling particularly sicko mode, yeah, four and a half. <laughs> if you're my wife, <laughs> probably not going to give it that high. But if you are the kind of perverted sense of humor, terrible person like I am, you'll enjoy it. Check it out.